Okay, Gary, where are you from? Akron, Ohio. And um, how you end up in Charlotte? I had to get away from Ohio. Uh, what was that? A woman. Really? Just started going and my truck blew up and went to Salem and I had enough money to get for a bus to get here. So you got and stuck in Charlotte? Yeah. How long has it been there? Two weeks before Thanksgiving. Where you live now? Like, where in you woods, spend the night? In the woods. Yeah, I got a tent set up. Okay, yeah. Well, and um, well, there's a factory that lets me use their water and stuff to uh -huh. take a shower and stuff, you know, as long as I do it at night. Okay. You know, so wow, that's that's, that's nice. I mean, it's nice. Huh? December 13th of 89, and i just been drinking ever since. What happened in that accident? Uh, guy ran a stop sign, and I hit him with my semi. You hit a, a person? The, the he stop? ran a stop sign in a car and, and I was in a semi and he ended up dying and I knew him but I didn't know him. Okay. He, he, I seen him around town. Yeah. And I mean I have nightmares still 20 some years later. I'll be dead asleep and I'll, I'll, I'll jump straight up out of bed. But did you realize that it wasn't your fault? I know that. Still? But, uh, it still it, wow. it eats me. Yeah, you were a sensible person, you know, man. Because you know it's not your fault. You know, and I understand that. But that, I mean, you do understand that, but it's still, I mean, it, it's in your head. There one hour that goes by my head that I don't think about. I'm going to go get a pack of cigarettes. Okay. All right. Uh, what um, about food? I'm, I'm getting I, I'm getting food here in a little bit from the um, Okay, all right. And uh, how often do you get five dollars in your hands, like that? Every how? Um, I scrap metal. I, oh, okay, so you go and grab. Uh, yeah, pick up um, metal five metal. days a week I work. Okay, what's next for you in your life? Just looking for work and and trying to get an apartment or something. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to better myself, and just because I got a felony, nobody will hire me. Any advice that you might want to give to people in your situation? Try to keep your shit straight. Okay. I was born here uh, about seven, eight years ago, but my family moved on to heaven. My mother just died last year. I had a job, um, worked on my job for about six, seven years. I'm a designer by trade. Okay. And uh, the economy is real bad right now for anybody. Uh -huh. So the good thing is, you know, I'm, I'm able to go to a shelter every night and live. Okay. I've never been homeless in my life. I just wind up homeless about four months ago. Okay. What, what triggered that, man? How, how, how? No money. No money? So no you, money. you lost your job or something like that? Well, I got laid off and uh, no more work, no more money. Um, unemployment runs out. I wind mm -hmm. up in the shelter. Oh, wow. Well, to be honest with you, $5 is just like $5. I mean, when you're on the street and you homeless, five dollars is like a pack of cigarettes. Okay. I don't smoke, but five dollars is five dollars. So I heard you. Um, it'll help me down the road. All right. Um, uh, do you have any any talents, Craig? Like, uh, can you sing? Can you play an instrument? Um, or paint or write? Or something? Will can do something. No, I don't sing. <laughs> no, I'm not a celebrity. Uh, but um, I just got out of work and became to be homeless. Where do you see yourself in, in a year from now? Well, hopefully I won't have to be in this situation in a year. Yeah. The good thing is being homeless is not no fun. Oh, no. But having the faith to be able to do something. This is where I'm at. Right now I don't like it, uh -huh. but I'm broke. What advice would you give to people? I know it's hard, but uh, 
what would you say to people that to avoid being homeless at some point? I know it's hard because you don't choose to. Well, avoid being homeless? Well, if you had to avoid of being homeless, that would be hard to do. Okay. That would be hard to do. The reason I'm saying this to you is, is because even a person that's, that's very, very wealthy, mm -hmm. all of a sudden one day, all the money goes away. Yeah. All of a sudden one day you're not wealthy anymore. You may not move out of your house right then, but at some point in time, you're going to be homeless. Streets that end where the night begins, waiting that the waiting itself makes eternal. Those are the days that blend in with months, loneliness revealed in the chasm of the eyes. There I await the return of that voice hidden on the corner of an echo in my memory. Here, sitting in the shade of an almost naked tree, the line of life on my hand vanishes away. The lines on my face grow longer. Happy days grow shorter. Aches and pains expand like a ripple on a lake. Streets that die at dawn right after the day is born. Holding on to hope even after all hope is gone. Waiting. Waiting that never ends. Those are the days of yesteryears. Days of forgotten glories old battles that amounted to nothing. Under the bridge, the days go on forever. Tell us your name, man. Elias. 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 Um, where you were born, man? Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. How did you end up in Charlotte? My family wanted me to come down here to straighten my life out because I was leading up the wrong path. How long you been in Charlotte? Since 1998. What happened? Why, why, why are you homeless? I'm not homeless. Ah, uh, you're not homeless, okay. No, I'm not homeless. All right, so you just, um, uh, are you... I'm just frequent the eye. Okay, are you unemployed right now? Yes, I am. Yeah. Why is that? I'm trying to get my disability. And um, I'm bipolar schizophrenia. Oh, okay, I I'm see. crazy. Uh, you are? Yeah, I'm crazy. You look, you, look, you look fine to me, man. Well, I'm not. Trust no? me. What, what, what crazy things do you do? I hear voices. Okay. What do the voices say? I'm scared of people. I don't like to be around people. Oh. And I don't want nobody to be around me. All right. Because I don't trust nobody and, and I don't want nobody to trust me. Okay. So. Especially if I ain't on my medicine. There you go. So what do the voices say, man, most of the times? I just keep hearing calling my names. They call you names? Yeah, they call my names. Then I go to the front door. Uh-huh. And don't see nobody. And I got the TV on. And I hear my name in the top of the TV. Mm -hmm. And I don't see nobody opening the back of the TV and everything. Uh -huh. And I can't find them. I, I, I just don't know. How long has this been happening, man? I don't know. A long, long time. A long time. And they won't, they won't even try to help me out. Oh, they, so they send me to get the um, pills and the energy number make me sleep. But what the medicine does when you take your, your pills or whatever? Medicine or this shit. No? Put me to sleep. I go and I go to... Um, the behavioral health clinic on Billingsley Road. Okay. Mental health. Uh -huh. And it don't, and, and I got tired of going there because they won't give me, they won't help me out. They just say, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And that's and, it. Um, I'm tired of how you doing. Yeah. It's not helping me, it don't help me out none. Do you have any talents, man, that you sing, that you play as an instrument or something like that? No, no, no. Nothing no. like that, okay. I sleep all the time. I, 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 and I'm ready to go sleep now. Uh, how do you see yourself in a year from now? You think you're going to be better? If they give me the right medication, just say it. Okay. Uh, do you, what advice would you give to people that is homeless right now? Keep your head up. And, and, and don't take no wood and no. Thank you so much for your, for your, for your help, man. Friends are all yours. Yeah, all right. I know it's mine. You're dealing with a man. Never made it out of the eighth grade. But I have a treasure chest of spiritual wisdom. My only job, my only desire, is to serve humanity. It's the greatest job you can have on the planet. The service of humanity. Jesus rode in on the back of an ass. So if you see a man that's dirty, don't 
don't sweat it. Look at him as if he was a king. Because if you perish this earth, you can't take your money with you. So, how greater will you be if you distribute your funds when you can help? Never look down on anyone, because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. I can't tell you how this tree was produced. The leaves are so beautiful. The flies, the ants. When I walk, I walk down like this. And they say, he's so sad. They don't understand. I'm trying not to step on the creatures beneath me. Mm -hmm. Not sad. I have respect for all creatures because I didn't produce myself. So there's something outside of myself that's greater than myself. It's only arrogance that allows man to think that he is so fucking super. That's what's wrong with these people. They construct their buildings. They build these like the Tower of Babel. Well, let me tell you something. They will be brought down low for the evil that they do. My people came over here in chains. You see the destruction. Look at them. The chains of slavery still exist mentally now. We didn't get here in this condition in one day. It took 500 years to put these people in this condition. Never let evil interfere with your humanity and your compassion. Always seek to do good because that's what God is. And without him, we would not exist. Oh, wow. 